I think we've already explained that shell fishing is a big, big deal when it comes to East Greenwich, Rhode Island. It's a part of history here, and I'm lucky to be able to have a retired fireman who is also a part-time shell fisherman. A part-time shell fisherman. And so his shanty, one of the beautiful shanties that we come across as we're coming here in the Scallop Town, and this is David Drew, and David is going to tell me a little bit about your history with uh, shell fishing and your shanty, yes. and then take me out and see if I can... We'll, we'll try Corgan. Yep. Corgan. Corgan. So the shanty was put here in 1929, roughly, by my grandfather. It was an opening house for scallops. That's, this area was big on, it's called Scallop Town. Um, later on in his life, it was when scalloping collapsed. Uh, he did oysters. Uh, a lot of our bay was leased to oyster companies out of New York and Connecticut. So he would uh, have oysters come through here, had a boat to go harvest oysters. And then in 1986, my father and I decided to make shellfish and equipment. So we made the bull rakes, the stales, tongs, anchors, you name it, anything to do with hand raking, we made it in that little building. So now I know how to say it and pronounce it correctly. It's the first step before I am actually allowed to step on the boat. Quag. Quag. Now I grew up on the Cape and we said quahog. Yep. I guess we're just wrong. Why are you from the Cape? Yeah. You know? So, yeah, <laughs> we're just wrong. <laughs> yeah, so what kind of person do you have to be to... Self-motivated. You've got to know the wind, the tide, you've got to understand the industry. Where I worked yesterday, I might not be able to work today because you're at the mercy of the wind and the tide. My father loved quags. Quags are down there, you got to go get them, fella says. 1978, they came out here. This was all frozen, and they had transplanted quags from the cove to all in front of the beach. The fellow went through the ice. I just missed him. I scanned by him. Boy, I tell you, they pulled him out and he headed for the car in a hurry. So I've got a, a video, probably shows, I don't know, a couple of hundred people with chainsaws chopping holes in the ice, bull rakes and tongs, catching products. Because of the conditions today, we're going to have to anchor up. And okay. we'll give it a go. All right, that sounds right. good. Let's give it a go. We're only in about 20 feet of water. You generally work twice the scope is twice the depth. Okay. So we're in 20 feet of water, we're gonna be using about 40 feet of, of pipe. And there it is. That's what I was waiting for. And there it goes. How do you know the difference between rocks and... Once you've been doing it for a while, you can feel it coming to core. So it's not a whole basket. It's only a few quags in there. Yeah, let's we're, see what we have. We're a little bit this way. That's cool. cool. That's a bird seed. Are we going to take our bucket? We can take our bucket with our meager catch. <laughs> so we're back at the shanty, and um, so this used to be where you kept all the shellfish. Yes, yes, this was uh, actually was an opening house for scallops when my grandfather built it. There was a bench like this on either side. So when the product came in when they were uh, catching scallops, back then the laws were a little less stringent, you could open them. So and the men and women would stand here, and this was a measure, and you would open the scallops, and put them in a measure like that, and you got paid by the measure. And the, the whole thing about scalloping back in, back in the 20s and the 30s was the first guy to get the scallops, there'd be people waiting at the door to buy them. The scallop industry collapsed. Um, there were still some oysters around. Um, then for a bunch of years, we made shellfish equipment. We made anchors, bull rakes, the stales, the handles, mm -hmm. you name it, whatever it was to do shellfish in. We used aluminum, okay? Yep, oh, and this is the way it used and to be. And that's the way it used to be. Wow, look at that. All right. Yeah. David Drew, thanks so much for Thank taking you me very out. Much. That was so awesome. Yeah. Love I you. I had a wonderful time. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. It. I'm glad you enjoyed my state because it's a pretty good one. <laughs>